Hey friends, welcome to the Johnson City Living Podcast, where we learn about the people, places, events, and flavors that make Johnson City just a lovely place to live. I'm your host, Colin Johnson, with the Colin and Carly Group and Keller Williams Realty. If you're interested in buying or selling a home in the area, or if you're looking at investing in a rental property, give us a call at 423-930-8003, and we will look forward to helping you. Now, let's get to today's episode. I'm super excited because flowers are blooming, it's not freezing, and I'm here with my new friend, Angie Williams, with Prime MD Aesthetics and Wellness. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. I hear you're a podcast here. pro. Well, I don't know if I would call myself a pro, but I've, I've done it a time or You've two. You've done it a time or two. Good. <laughs> I've done it a time or two. This will be my third time, so it'll be great. <laughs> We'll figure it out we'll together. We'll figure it It'll out. Be It'll great. work. It'll be great. Okay, so Johnson City Living Podcast. First thing, what do you love most about Johnson City? Oh, goodness. I think I just love the community feel of Johnson yeah. City. I was, you know, raised here, been here since I was three years old. And it's just a community that comes together. And the folks, I mean, what can we say? Southern folks are the best, right? Yeah. <laughs> we are pretty good. I, I think know. that's number one. The people, the people are number one. Mountains get number two. Yep. So our yeah, our listeners love that our people are number one. Yeah, I, think. And I just totally got, agree. We've got awesome people starting awesome businesses around. And so I'm excited for the listeners to learn all about your business today. So yeah. how did you get started in aesthetics and wellness? Well, it was just really luck. Basically, I have been an RN for several, many, many, many years, 20, 20 something plus years. And I was actually travel nursing in New York became really good friends with a perinatologist there. And he was Korean and he was like, let's open a med spa because he said, I know all about skin and health and um, because the Asian folks are way ahead of us, right? And so um, we actually decided to open up a little place in Flushing, New York. And we just kind of winged it and he um, and I learned together to do a little Botox and that's kind of where it all started. That's cool. And so then I met a boy, as I was telling you, and moved to Raleigh, North Carolina, and um, met my partner, Dr. Okay. Joseph Hummel, and he's also our medical director. Gotcha. And we were kind of looking at the same space. He was wanting to get in the wellness. I was wanting to get into the, the aesthetics and really build a business there. And we just hit it off. Yeah. And so that's kind of how it started. That's cool. All right. Tell the listeners about aesthetics. What is that? entail yeah aesthetics is i mean our motto really is if you if you look good you feel good right and so that's where the wellness and the aesthetics kind of collide and make this just beautiful thing um the aesthetics is more about taking care of your skin your skin health how do you look how are you aging it's a lot of anti-aging and we love the biostimulatory and regenerative part of that to where we use a lot of your own stem cells and growth factors to kind of regenerate your skin we do fillers, we do Botox, all the toxins, which are, there's several on the market. And the like, lasers. It seems like contrary to proper, I mean, you'd be like, <laughs> why are you sticking toxins in me to make me look better? But I know, I know, I get right? It. Well, to Botox and Dysport, those things have been around for 30 plus years. Super safe to use. Yeah. Um, they used them for MS patients in the beginning. And that's kind of the doctor that invented it was like, wait a minute, let me stick some of this in my face and see if it relaxes <laughs> my face like it did everything else for folks. So. That's, that's where that came from. And then we do a lot of lasers. So we okay. do a lot of, you know, resurfacing CO2. So we, we kind of run the spectrum of very biostimulatory all the way to some of the dermal fillers, Botoxes, things of that nature. Gotcha. Yeah, I think it just continues to amaze me what we come up with technology wise. It's changing every day. Yeah. Every day there's something new and advanced. And really um, miraculous coming uh you know down the pipe with regenerative stuff that's my favorite I yeah. mean, you know when i can use your own your own body to um produce collagen and yeah stimulate. talk to how we, how would that happen in the future yeah so um we we bring you in of course we do a full consultation we talk about what your um desires are where we can help you because you know we can't do everything Sometimes we have to can't refer you out. Can't turn back the clock. Out. Right, we can't turn completely. back the clock completely, but we try to do our best. So we come, you come in, um, we draw your blood. Mm -hmm. We have a system to where we heat and cool it. We can turn it into like a PRF, which is a platelet-rich fibrin. 
and we can inject that in your joints to make your joints feel better. We can inject that back into your face to help you grow collagen. We can also use it as a, as a um, volumizer because we can turn it into a gel, which is really cool. That's kind of the newest thing coming down the pipes is where we can use your own stem cells and growth factors to turn into a gel. And then we can plump those wrinkles in and your And it's going to get re, I mean, and reabsorbed into your body because it's your own human it's your material. Own, yeah. yeah. That's what I love about it, I right? Too, it's very organic. You, yes. You and want... you don't have to fear what's in my body, what's floating around in there, right? So, I, I mean, it's my favorite. I love the, the bio stem stuff. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, it really is. Um, let's go to the wellness side of it. What does that yeah, look like? Yeah, so um, Dr. Joe is uh, our wellness doc, and he's amazing. He's been doing this for 17 plus years. He's, he's really on the cutting edge of everything um, functional and holistic. Um, so from hormone replacement to nutrition to um, working out, he just kind of runs the spectrum on that. So the wellness is, it's a lot of bioidentical. Mm -hmm. So he's matching, you know, a lot of what's going on in your body and looking into that to see what, he doesn't just, what I love is he looks at the whole picture, right? Yeah. He looks at everything. How's your body functioning as a whole, not just patching and band-aiding things, right? So he can really get you to optimal health, just looking at a lot of different um, things in your blood, um, some other tests that he runs to see where you may be needing hormone replacement, or you may need peptides or amino acids, or you may be low on certain vitamins. And so he can kind of piece all that together. And he's very pragmatic in his thinking, which I love. Okay. Um, and he just does a phenomenal job of, of really getting you to functioning to where you feel good. Yeah. And that's his, that's, that's the biggest thing for folks. Well, that's what we want to, we want to feel good, right? I know. Yeah. 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 You want to feel good because if, you know, if you don't, then a whole lot of other things start lacking, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you're starting a new business here in town. We That's why are. you're on the podcast to talk I know, about it, right? I know, yeah. So tell us about that and how that came about. Like. Yeah, so um, I'm originally from here, as we just spoke Ooh, about. Johnson City. Yay, Johnson City. So um, I'm here, all of my family is here. I'm the only one that kind of flew the nest and, and uh, was discovering other things out there. And um, so I was coming here often, like monthly, to see my family. And I have two kids that still live here. And so I have three sisters, right? So they're all like, can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this when you're in? And I'm like, my goodness. So after about a year or two of that, I was like, this is kind of, wait, what's going on here? And they were gathering all their friends. So I was like, okay, it's getting bigger and bigger. Right. And so when I'm I come into the work weekend, I'm working. Hanging, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm working. So it was like, so then I just thought, you know what? Maybe I'll look around and see if there's a need here. So I did uh, my due diligence and I thought, you know, I have an amazing practice in Raleigh. We're very successful there. And um, I thought, you know what, I, I'm going to bring that to Johnson City. I think the people will love it. I think they'll like the cutting edge. Yeah. Um, I love that downtown Johnson City is reviving. I think it's beautiful and amazing. It is so amazing. we decided to um, open an office downtown here. Yeah. Where's your space? We are right beside a Rouge Hair Salon. So we're at 121 North Commerce. Okay. So you know where the big Johnson City yep. sign is in the park? Yep. We're right there. Right there. Right. Founders Park, right? Yes. Right. Well, what King is that? Commons. King's Sorry. Commons. Sorry. Yep. I get that wrong. I get them confused all the time. <laughs> and Lazy Lady Bakes is right there. Right the, there, which is amazing. The hot I've chicken learned. place, the voodoo chicken. The voodoo chicken. Yeah. So we're right there beside of all of that. And um, it's Prime MD. Uh, aesthetics and wellness and come by and visit us. Yeah, you guys are having a grand opening sometime. We are. We're super excited. It's this Friday. What time? One to seven. One to seven. So Food, if you're listening right now, because this will drop Friday. Are we going to, I think, yeah, Mitch is saying we'll drop this Friday. So hey. maybe even we drop it early Friday morning so that people can drop by. That'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah one to seven. We're going to have food. We're going to have all kinds of giveaways, special pricing that you can't get any other time. Um, we're gonna have drinks. Hook you kind of thing. Like we'll give it to you cheap this time and then make you pay later yeah, on. Yeah, that's it. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. I like it. I like it. So um, what are some things you love about Johnson City? Oh goodness. Well, I love the, the community people. feel. Yeah. I love the people. I love that it's growing. I think that's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I do like that small town feel, but also I think that um, bringing in new businesses and attracting new businesses is is vital to success yeah. and growth right and so i think it can be a good thing 
Do you see yourself coming back here full time? I do. How did you know? You read my mind. I think it's my realtor brain <laughs> going, hey, you should just move back. It and I can, is. Carly it and I can is. help you buy a house here. I so. know, right? So yeah. I did buy some property down on Boone Lake I'd been wanting for a while. Nice. So I bought that a year ago. And so my, my vision, my long term, I say long term, I'm always changing it to short term now. I'm like, I would like to be back here in the next two to three years. My parents are here, yeah. you know, and so I, I, that's definitely where, where this is headed. Yeah, and it's a little slower pace of life than, than Raleigh, right? Yeah, it is, it is. And you know, you can slow down and enjoy the, the little things. Yeah. So that's nice. So talk to me about your career and um, your background so that, you know, the people who are listening are like, oh, this lady knows exactly what she's, she's yeah, doing. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm a licensed medical. Got to build medical, trust with them, right? Yeah, I'm a licensed medical provider. I've been an RN since 1997. Started out in NICU and OB. Oh. Um, travel nurse in New York as a ED trauma. So then I've worked at the med center here in Johnson City. Yeah. Um, and in the ER there for four years. And then that's when I decided to um, meet that boy that was from Raleigh. That's right. That's how I got to Raleigh. Um, but so I've been in that, uh, in the hospital setting until 2011. And that's when I kind of dipped my toe in the yeah. aesthetic space yeah. and just loved it. I'm, I'm very artsy, so um, I can combine the science and the art. So it lets that creative side of me yeah. get out. So when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, you know, restoring beauty or anti-aging for folks, I look at that as just a blank canvas and I can kind of, you know, use it as an art yeah. really. And help enhance what the Lord's created. Yeah. So yeah. I love that. And so that just let me kind of put those two worlds together because I tell people it's still medicine, right? It is. And, it's a little know, different than trauma. It's, it's a little different than trauma. <laughs> than your right? trauma. Yeah. So I don't have to like, you know, so an arm back on, but right. um, it is still combining the science with the art, which for me is just beautiful because I can use that creative space that way. Yeah, have you always been artistic? I have been, yeah. That's yeah. Fine. I'm a musician, you know, I sing and play the guitar and that kind of thing. So That's it's cool. that kind of artsy yeah. um, that, I, that I'm really into. So I love the music. So bluegrass, see, that's here, right? See, it's here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You can go back to school and get a degree in it. Here. I know. That's amazing. What are some of the um, people that have influenced you to get you where you are today that you may want to give a oh, shout my out goodness. to? I would definitely say um, Dr. Chun in New York. Um, I would definitely say my grandmother who instilled that compassion, mm -hmm. took me to the nursing homes with her when I was younger and, and kind of instilled that. I think that's where that nursing came from. Um, and then Dr. Joe, you know, he, he was a big inspiration to me when we met um, just his way of thinking and his holistic views mm -hmm. and the functional medicine of, of, you know, side of things. He really influenced how I practice now too. So, yeah, and many other folks I'm sure I'm not thinking of. But Yeah, yeah. What's somebody else maybe listening across the country that's like, oh, I'd love to get into this space and start mm -hmm. a business. What's some advice you could give to them? Yeah, I would say, Since you know, buckle down. Times now. <laughs> I know, buckle down. It, it's, it's, uh, it's not easy, right? I think people see that croissant that's right. already been baked, right? That beautiful golden croissant. And they're like, oh, I can do that. No problem. Then there's a lot of that goes into that croissant to make it that way, right? So I, I don't give up. I mean, I mean, if you put your mind to something and you really want it bad enough, mm -hmm. you will find a way. Um, for those who are wanting to uh, get into aesthetic medicine or wellness, find a good mentor. Mm -hmm. Find somebody that you can learn from and uh, let them mentor to you and kind of help you along the way. Start from the ground up, which is kind of what I did. Um, I remember opening our first doors and having no one, right? And you're sitting there going, da 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 da, da. Uh, who's coming through the door? Maybe we made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, what am I doing? I, I'm gonna run back and work in the hospital. But, yeah. um, you know, just a lot of prayer, trusting. Um, my faith has gotten me through many, many things. Mm. And I just um, felt that it was what I was supposed to do. And I went with it. That's awesome. And it turned out beautifully. Yeah, yeah. What are you listening to, reading, and that's inspiring you like to continue to grow and develop your business? I listen to a lot of leadership mm -hmm. um, podcasts and um, uh, things that I read have uh, Max Licato. I read a mm -hmm. lot of him for leadership things because you know you're in a, in a, a big role 
when you're trying to lead people, Especially right? Especially from a distance too, like multiple locations. Right, right. So really that's important to me. I'm reading a great book now that called The Pursuit of God. I don't know if you've read that, but that's amazing. Mm. It, it kind of talks about a balance and how you can do both, mm -hmm. you know? So that's important to me to have a balance in my life too. Yeah, for so. sure. Yeah, because yeah. that you can it, life can get away from you real quick, you right? Get your priorities out of line, <laughs> out of whack easily, and if you're easily not keeping him first, it all you got to stay grounded. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, tell us about your team you've got over here in Johnson City. Goodness, my team is amazing. Yeah, of course oh, they are. Oh my goodness, yeah. Um, we, I, my sister is our office manager, so that she's got oh. 25 years, 30 years, maybe. I'm not going to age her she's too here. much. She didn't she's want to here. be on the podcast. Yeah, she, did, she wouldn't sit here with me. Um, <laughs> she's been in the she's she dental hygienist. can go meet hygienist. her at the store. Yeah, she's been a dental hygienist, so she's been in the healthcare field, and she's now kind of leading the crew. Carla um, is an amazing esthetician. She's our medical esthetician okay. there. We have um, Rachel, who's our patient care coordinator, so she'll take care of all your needs, you know, from the beginning to the end, getting you in, getting you settled. Taylor, our medical assistant. Um, Christy, am I leaving anyone out? Lindsay. Oh my gosh, yes. So we've got a native girl with us. Lindsay is our injector that's going to be here full time. Cool. Um, she is from Johnson City. Her parents are here. Nice. She moved to Charlotte with her husband for three years and she took, she wants to move back here. She took a full time position with us. They just bought a house. Awesome. So we are so excited to have her, and she's a native, which is what we love, That's right? Great. Yeah. yeah. So she knows the area, she knows the folks, and um, yeah, she's gonna she's a great addition to our team. So we're very blessed. That's Just cool. kind of all came together. It was meant to be. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, it's super exciting. Very um, exciting. Tell me some of the things you like to do for fun when you and the boy are here in Johnson City <laughs> for our <laughs> listeners to tap into. Well, the lake, right? the lake we love boating we love outdoors um hiking you know all those things the mountains are always mm -hmm. nice um i sing a lot in my spare time so um, that's fun yeah that's fun so ma mainly the lake picnicking those are the kinds of things we like you guys sporty do you get out and play golf tennis my husband is, was a played uh tennis uh, college tennis and he is actually a tennis pro you oh. know like on the DL. Yeah. I mean, he's not like out on the circuit, but he does teach tennis some in Raleigh over there. And um, so he's very active. I'm trying to pick up a little pickle ball to it's stay a lot of fun. active. It's darn nuts here. In right. Well, we got all these people moving here and they're like, where's the pickleball courts? Where are the pickleball courts? Where are the pickleball courts? I mean, Johnson City's so built some crazy. great ones over here. That's by, awesome. Yeah. Because I, I think that just the out, anything outdoorsy, gardening, yeah. I love. I do that all summer. Yeah, so. me too. Yeah. I love it. How can our listeners connect with you online? Yeah, you. we've got um, our website is primemd.com, so you can get on that. You can also um, call the office. Um, Chrissy, what's that number? 423? You're probably on the socials too. Oh, yeah. So I've got a, I've got a social media. It's Angela Williams, B-S-N-R-N. -N. We have PrimeMD JC, um, and then we have a Prime MD main Instagram. We're on Facebook at Prime MD Aesthetics and Wellness. Um, and just come down and see us. We love yeah. to see your faces, What's your right? 121 North Commerce. 121 North Suite Commerce. Suite 100. Suite 100. Yeah. That's important. 423 430 8323. There you it's go. It's our phone number. Hey, so we can we're call always them. happy to talk. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Um, what's something that. I should have asked you that I forgot to. Uh oh. Anything you got that you're like, oh, I wish I'd shared this and I didn't. I think you did a fantastic. Besides who your favorite sister is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I think you did a really good job. I, I think it's just important for folks uh, to know that you can um, you can have things done and not look overdone. Right. right. You can have things done that are very natural. Sure. And we. We pride ourselves in really just walking you through the process. Um, your concerns are my concerns. When someone walks in my room, I treat them like family. Yeah. So I really like for them to know that. It's like I'm working on my mom's sister brother, you know. Yeah. So I really like for people to know that, that you can We're feel comfortable. Like yeah. Yeah. And not to be afraid of it, right? Not to be afraid because you know what? I say it. the thing is start somewhere, yeah. you know. Just start somewhere. It doesn't have to be something 
you know, that you're, you're big. We, we can work through those fears, but if you just start with one little thing and then... And you can just come in and get a free consultation. Come in and get a free consultation. Just meet the crew and see what those. they think and yep. what you could, yeah. options. and What your options are. We're your very thorough. Your budget. We go over all of that in the consultation. So there's no surprises. Yeah. You know, you're going to know everything up front. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Well, I'm, I'm hoping your open house goes great today. I know, me too. It's going to be awesome. So it's going to be awesome. There'll be a lot of people there, I'm sure. Um, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. We did a couple of billboards around town. I, so hopefully. I saw them <laughs> like around. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully it'll be, it'll be a bunch of people show up. I think so. Again. We're happy. What time yeah, is we that? Have a ribbon cutting. We got a ribbon cutting with the chamber at one, at, at one o'clock. Yep. So that'll be exciting. You'll That's be in the be paper fun. with that deal. That'll be yeah. fun. Um, well, thank you so much for coming oh, on the podcast. Thank you. And, um, I appreciate you. Yeah, we wish you and your, your family and your business just the best. And thank so, you. Um, yeah, and thank you guys for listening to our conversation. I hope you all enjoyed it a lot. Um, again, I'm Colin Johnson with the Colin and Carly Group. If you want to move here, Carly and I would love to help you find a house. <laughs> We are a little late on these two, but we'll get there with some other folks for sure. So, uh, yeah, and if you want to come meet Angie and her crew, we would love to help you get introduced there as well. So, um, yeah, thanks so much and have a great spring.